Welcome back. We have a health alert for you this morning. Florida recently became the 29th state since 2016 to declare a public health emergency due to a hepatitis A outbreak. It is a virus that can cause serious liver problems. According to the CDC, there has been a 300% increase in hep A since 2013. And in the past three years, there have been more than 23,000 cases, 14,000 plus hospitalizations and more than 200 deaths. Joining me now to discuss this, gastroenterologist Dr. Hamel Hamid. Thank you for coming in today. Thank you for having me. We don't want to scare people because it's still at a very small level. You know, we're looking here in Duval County, eight new cases, six in Duval County, but still any are too many because this is something that you can vaccinate against. Well, as you know, it's a very um, interesting disease. It's spread by a virus infection, can be easily treated. The number one thing that needs to be passed on to the general public is absolute very simple thing hand washing mm -hmm. the usual thing that we see in the corridors of office building the soap and detergent are important but the usual hand washing lotions will not kill it okay. you need a rigorous 20 second hand right. washing technique with soap and water to get rid of it okay what about um your antibacterials your gels antibacterial things? they help but they are not readily available okay so i think it's imperative that we pass on the message on to our children mm -hmm. kids in school and colleges that they need to enforce them how to do proper hand washing technique yeah i i, I always tell my kids i'm like if there's soap and water we're going to use that first exactly if not then we have other options exactly so, so how is the spread it's spread by um, lack of unscrupulous hygiene. Mm -hmm. People, like in the restaurant industry, if they don't wash their hands and uh, they go on to work after using the bathroom break, they can carry on this germ and the virus and pass it on to a lot of other people. Uh, so hand washing technique is very important. Other thing that needs to be stressed upon is the role of immunization. Right. And all the health departments throughout the state of Florida are offering free vaccination. If you cannot reach the health department, you can always contact your primary care provider, your gastroenterologist or liver specialist, and they can guide you in the right direction how to get that vaccine. When is the vaccine recommended at what age? And then there's also a booster, a right. follow-up within a year. Exa good question. Usually for children at an early age during the school years, it's recommended. Mm -hmm. Then they need a booster during preteen years. But if somebody's traveling to an endemic area, like they're going to Africa or Southeast Asian countries, then it is recommended mm -hmm. that they should get a vaccination, first dose and another dose within a couple of weeks time period. And it's a virus, so it's not something that there's a cure for, there's really no treatment, but it does cycle through your body and, and you can get rid of it at some point, right? Right, well, hepatitis A is different from hepatitis B and C, it does not cause any chronic liver disorder. All it can do is acute liver failure. Mm -hmm. People more at risk are the people who already have underlying liver disease, people who have hemophilia, who need frequent transfusion of blood products. Uh, a lot of patients who come into the hospital that I've seen are usually homeless people who are not exposed to usual hy hygienic methods that you and I are used to. So there is always a subset of people out there who are more likely to get this viral infection. Mm -hmm. But the recommendation, very simple, and something for a lot of things we talk about is get right. your vaccines and then just wash those hands. Exactly. And the flu. Can't stress and, more you know, upon that. Yeah. 20 second hand washing. You gotta rub with front, back of the hand, yeah. between the fingers and the it fingertip. Get those, get that, you know, bacteria taken care of yeah. by the soap. I always say sing the happy birthday song. For, it, there you go, twice. We'll get you sing it twice. Twice, oh, yes. I've only been singing it once. Why are, we more, why are we seeing this uptick, though? Is there any real reason? Well, we have seen the trend in the last two years. The incidence has doubled over time. Mm -hmm. It probably has to do with the um, migration of people. Um, also, maybe the lax standards. Florida Restaurant Association now have more strict criteria. If any particular restaurant and one of their employees becomes positive, then they offer vaccination to all of their employees. Mm, okay. So I think it's a public service announcement that awareness. we need to do yeah. awareness out there and repeat the message again and again mm -hmm. so the message comes out to the whole community. The whole community. Because exactly. many people know and many people are doing right. But exactly. Maybe you're out there you need to hear it. Well, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you so much for having right. us. Yeah, thank, thank you so you. much.